evil angels in this world too, are there not? And they inspire the occult and massively influential occult practitioners like Alice A. Bailey. She was the a UN acolyte and the founder of Lucifer's Trust Publishing House, later renamed as Lucis Trust, but originally Lucifer's Trust. So she channeled messages right from Lucifer, Satan we know him as, he doesn't bear any light anymore, but um, she states this, in 2025 the date in all prob probability will be set for the first stage of, what is it called? The externalization of the hierarchy. This hierarchy, you might say, who, who is the hierarchy that she refers to? Well, she refers to them in a subsequent quotation as the masters. So the masters of the occult, of course, are Satan and the evil angels that are beneath him. And so that would be a hierarchy of evil agencies that the Bible refers to Satan as the prince of this world. So in a way, they are the hierarch hierarchical ruling elite and structure of this planet. It's not Klaus Schwab and Bill Gates. It's the entities that actuate the powers that be and bring war and conflict and imperial domination and tyranny. So here's what she says about 2025. Again, they want to do their teaching of their occult ideology and, and progress, so-called educational, religious, and economic until when? Well, there she said it again, until 2025. So she's targeting 2025 from nearly 100 years ago, again and again, another one. Propaganda work is to be done during the next few dec decades until the year 2025. So she says they're working to they, meaning the, 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 the evil agencies in this world, are working toward a goal of the externalization of the hierarchy. So the ruling powers in, the, in high places, the Bible calls them that, that which this rule this earth. They will externalize themselves, the, she says, ideally at, at the year 2025. Here is an even more clear statement about it. It will be possible for the hierarchy to externalize itself and function openly upon the physical plane. Now notice this part. The masters will walk openly among men, restating what she said earlier in that quote. They will function and operate openly upon the physical plane and walk openly among men. Now you might be aware that when the Jews were calling for Jesus' death, before Pilate, and they were calling for Barabbas to be freed, that that was a demonic call. Let his blood be on us and our children. We have no king but Caesar. And there were demons literally actuating that in the form of man. And so what might that look like in our day? Uh, I believe Satan's going to impersonate Christ because Jesus said when people appear saying, I am the Christ, do not believe it because it'll be like the lightning from the heaven that shines east in, from the east all the way to the west. So there will be the impersonation of Christ. But Preceding that, think about what the late Roger Morneau had to say. I want you to listen to this clip. This was what we did on YouTube on the topic of this supposed alien revelation. Listen in. Before his dramatic conversion to Christianity, Roger Morneau, French Canadian, had been an initiate into a satanic secret society. Before he died, he did multi-hour interviews. They're posted in the description below. Every minute of that is worth your time, riveting content, definitely not boring, and it reveals what's coming in the deceptions of the last days. Actually, a lot of it echoes exactly what you read in the epic 19th century book, The Great Controversy, which if you study that book with Bible in hand, you're going to be prepared for the deceptions that are coming upon the earth. Well, what does Morneau say about aliens? One of the forgotten parts of those interviews was that he said that Satan is planning, this is what the high priest told him, the high priest of the Satanic Secret Society told him that Satan is preparing to have his demons impersonate beings from other worlds and say calamities and destructions are coming upon the earth if we don't do the deceptions that they are telling us to do. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. So you got two groups here. You got the sons of God who have come to God in heaven and Satan who has come to God in heaven. God then asks Satan, well, where do you think you have come from? And he says, well, I've come from the earth, pacing back and forth in it. In other words, that's my domain. He's not a son of God though. Satan means adversary. So these sons of God, perhaps they came 
came from planets where they have a rightful domain like Adam was to have when God created this world. Adam was called in the book of Luke the son of God. These are sons of God. Not in the sense of Jesus Christ, the second person of the Godhead, but you do have this picture of beings coming to heaven in a council with God from different worlds. This notion of unfallen worlds is not a novel idea in Christianity. It's a biblical concept. It's in Rock of Ages, the great hymn that in the future we will soar to worlds unknown. The book of Hebrews says that Jesus Christ is the one through whom God made the worlds. So is the Bible here speaking of gray aliens, green aliens visiting the earth and flying saucers? There's no such thing in the Bible. We're going to look at that more in just a minute. But if you see who is promoting the idea of the unexplained aerial phenomenon, and if it's politicians and it's the Vatican, you know it's a deception. Now, I'm not going to rule out secret deep state technologies and high-tech futuristic breakaway civilization level type of stuff coming from human-based technologies in NASA and so on. But... There's no such thing biblically as flying saucers coming across the galaxy and aliens landing on the earth in tin cans. So the sons of God in Job were representative heads from other worlds, just like Adam was to be of this world. But does that mean every time the phrase sons of God is used in the Bible that it refers to beings from unfallen worlds? No. In Galatians 4 verse 5, we read human beings redeemed referred to as sons of God. So in Genesis 6, when we see the sons of God intermarrying with the daughters of men, and there's no indication in that text that these are visitations from other worlds, a pretty nonsensical notion to begin with. Angels and other beings of heaven don't have that biological reproductive capacity anywhere in the Bible. We know this is simply faithful human beings intermarrying with the heathen. This is Genesis 6, after the lineage of Seth and the lineage of Cain, the faithful and the unfaithful. Very clear that this is not intermarrying of human beings with aliens. And I'm sure you've noticed the hype, the increasing talk about aliens amongst official sources. 2021 BBC headline read, Pentagon won't rule out aliens in long-awaited UFO report. And recently, a Pentagon official talking about the unexplained aerial phenomenon Phenomenon. They asked him, have you, have you thought about extraterrestrials? And he goes, I haven't ruled anything out. And of course, to not leave the Pope out, he was declaring a few years ago that if we had visitations from aliens, little green creatures, we would baptize them. So it brings the question, is it possible that a major alien deception, a fake alien revealing, is coming as part of the last day's satanic deceptions? Here's Roger Morneau, who heard it directly from the satanic high priest of the satanic secret society to which he was being initiated. One of the uh, major deceptions of the last days. And the priest uh, told us, uh, he had, we talked to him, quite a while. And uh, then he said, uh, could I have a little bit more of your time? I want to do something very fascinating. He says, the grain plain, the master's grain plain, for harvesting the nations, uh, for, for harvesting the multitudes of the earth into his cause, just before the close of the great controversy between the forces of good and evil. So he continued, you know, after we uh, express ourselves, that we're deeply interested to know more about the activities of spirits. And he said, it's going to be done in a unique manner. This, this grain plan says is, is going to take people, people are going to eat the stuff. Because it says spirits, demon spirits, will declare themselves to be inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies. That are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet. Unless something seriously proper is done to avoid it. So there you have it, from God's word, from a whistleblower, the aliens are nothing more than demons, fallen angels. So it's in the form of a question. Will 2025 be the arrived at date that they are moving toward with their propaganda to get themselves to the point where the hierarchy can externalize itself? And as Roger Morneau was told, the grand master plan is to have this fake alien appearance, declaring themselves to be from other worlds. 
And um, this would be demons. This is not aliens. They're not aliens. They're, it's, it's demonic entities, as we saw in the video clip, so I won't repeat it any further. But um, not to set a hard and fast date for that, but that's what their goals apparently are, coming from their own, their own sources.